In Jeremy Saulnier's Murder Party, the main character decides to attend a mysterious Halloween party. He didn't go because he felt compelled to, or wanted to impress a love interest. He went because his cat, Sir Lancelot, wouldn't leave a chair and let him watch movies. If Chris knew what was about to happen, he would have picked up the cat and thrown it. Upon reaching the party, Chris is knocked out and tied to a chair by some Brooklyn hipsters looking to murder him for an art project. By the end of the movie, he's had acid poured on his head, witnesses a man burning alive, is nearly shot multiple times, and ultimately uses a chainsaw to kill one of his captors. When he escapes and makes it home, Sir Lancelot is still waiting on the chair. Beaten and bloodied, somehow Chris convinces the cat to vacate. With his chair clear, he sits down and is finally able to enjoy his movies. This kind of thing happens quite often in Saulnier's films. An average protagonist finds themselves in way over their head. They have to find a way to deal with it or die. In this process, they make mistakes and they get hurt. And even if they survive, they're often further behind than when they started. These aren't comeback stories or stories of personal growth. They're survival stories. Each of Saulnier's films follows a similar trajectory. Whether it's a vagrant search for revenge that goes too far, or a bunch of punks fighting their way out of a Nazi bar, the stories always focus on people enduring gauntlets of cruelty without the adequate tools to cope. Most of the time, they don't come out the other end having experienced much change. The world around them remains the same. They haven't solved the gigantic problem. In the end, they simply survived. Through survival, they're able to appreciate the little things. The little victories, if you would. Some amount of comfort is offered to them after the hardships they endured. Oftentimes, the payoff is minuscule compared to the ordeal. But a small offering of closure can mean so much in a random and violent world. We as viewers can connect to these stories because we're survivors too. At any moment, our lives could take a turn for the worse. We can see ourselves in these characters, going in blind but coming out alive. Hurt! but alive. We can take a moment to appreciate little victories in our lives just as they do. Because in the end, you don't have to come out victorious, and you don't have to right every wrong. You just have to make it through and enjoy the little victories.